I'm J Mo two times. And don't forget the two times. What did I fucking just say? There you go. <laughs> Went by J Mo. That was my uh, nickname throughout sports and all that type of shit growing up. When I started really trying to brand myself, it, I've always been J Mo because that's just what everybody always called me. But I needed something to like add on to that to like help it be brandable. And I fucked with uh, Gucci Mane real tough. And he had this mixtape at the time called Gucci Two Times. And that was it. Tulsa originally, but I'm from Ardmore, Oklahoma. The Shady 580. It's, uh, it's not too bad. I mean, a lot of gangs, a lot of drugs, but if you if you from there and if you uh, if people know who you are, you you'll be all right. Uh, the Carter Three, I was like, I want to do that shit. It was it was one of the first albums I can remember playing and and not having to skip a song. You know, I listened to every every song on that track. Upper lower class or lower middle class. It wasn't too bad. I mean, we, I didn't grow up with a whole bunch of money or anything like that, but I played sports and that's it. I thought I was gonna go be in the NBA or the NFL or something. And then I'm just, you know, fucking too little to do anything. So I started rapping. I'm with uh, New Evil Sounds. It's like a little independent label we're trying to kind of start up, but you know, for the most part, it's like no no paperwork, so I'm not signed, but you know. You just make a fucking hit, and it's it's your new favorite song in the world. Like, I love that feeling, and I, I try to do that. Anytime I'm in the studio, just make, make something new, make something better than I made last time. I would say that's my favorite part of it. The My least favorite part of it would just be having to kind of treat it as a job, and at the same time, not making money off of it. Why I have to go to a, a regular job to make money to support this part of my career. It's, it's a little bit frustrating and it kind of, uh, you know, takes its toll every once in a while. Oh yeah, and pretty much every time I perform, I, uh, I have like pretty severe stage fright, I would say. It's, uh, I don't know, I, I, I have a couple of drinks before I go on usually, that helps. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm just pretty introverted, so like having to get up on a stage and you know, in front of people and kind of show out and you know, it's a little bit awkward for me, but I've been, I've been practicing, I've been getting better at it, I feel like. Shit, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's, I like it, man. I mean, I say one thing when it comes, in my experience, when I make music, the stuff that I really, really like, you know, that I think is going to hit with people is the shit that they don't really like. And the stuff that I don't really think is that good is the shit they really fuck with. So. To each his own. I mean, somebody's going to like something if it, if it just relates to them. So I just try to hit, hit, the, hit the spectrum. All types of people, I don't know. I'd say, to, to me, and I, I feel pretty strongly about this, like the most influential band or group ever in music to me is the Beatles. And that's just because, like back in, in when they were at their, the height of their career, they were uh, so famous that they couldn't perform live anymore. So they were like the first people to go into the studio and like in their heads, they're like, hey, we can recreate sounds that we don't have to perform live because we can't play live no more. So they're in there fucking doing reverse cymbal sounds, which opens the door for all this electronic shit, you know? I just, it's just pioneers of music. I really like the Beatles for what they did because you know, before them, if you couldn't get up on a stage and play a guitar or a, or a drum set or a piano or something, you wasn't, you know, you wasn't doing music, really. I don't know. 
right now at this point in my life, I'd like to, you know, Gucci Mane, I'd like that one. I think people would just be like, how the fuck did he get a Gucci Mane feature? I, I'd put Gucci Mane right at the top. I don't think he'd want to make a song with me, but fuck it. I, that's who I want, Gucci Mane. I would say probably just trying to stay consistent with the shit, like, you know, just because I make, I got, I got drop a video right here, it gets a little bit of clout, you know, next move gotta be happening already, it's, you know, that's the, the, the dilemma, I've been getting better about that shit, but yeah, I'd say just having to, having to maintain and be consistent with it, it gets, it gets stressful sometimes. Uh... Uh, I smoke some weed and it kind of eases my mind. I, I drink a little bit and then, you know, I just let it breathe. I, I walk off and then come back to it and then I just committed to this shit. So it's like, you know, I just got to tell myself I can't fucking, can't fucking mope around like that. If I'm feeling some type of way, I got to get this shit done. Oh shit, I mean, I could write a verse in about 30 minutes. The whole song, when it comes to structuring and everything, I'd say maybe like two to three hours if I'm really vibing with it. But sometimes I, it's taken me, you know, weeks to write songs before. Some songs just don't come out till they're ready, I feel like. And some songs that never come out, they wasn't meant to come out. This song called Vamp Life. I think it's probably, probably, I think it's probably one of my best. I'd say it's my best. And just because it is one of those ones where I had, I had been trying to write past couple of days and nothing really been coming to me. And, you know, I just sat down in, the, in, the, in, in front of my laptop and played this beat that I had for like probably six months that was just sitting in my computer. I didn't know what to do with it, but I downloaded it just because I knew I wanted to use it. I just couldn't figure out what to use it for, and then, it, it, you know, it just wrote itself. Like, I didn't even really have to think of it. It just kind of came to me all at once. Wrote it in about 30 minutes. And it's one of my favorite songs to this day. I like it. Maybe uh, branch out a little bit more with uh, my networking and, and artists that I fuck with. Uh, yeah, I mean, just expand, really. Keep, keep growing. JMO two times, JMO the number two, T-I-M-E-S. Google that, it'll pop up everywhere. Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. My Snapchat is the only thing that's not that. That's JMO gets bitches, but. I, and I tried to change it. I couldn't change that shit. I really tried. You can't change your your, your fucking Snapchat username. That's yeah. It's embarrassing. I know. Message to my fans. Thank you so much for you know just being a fan. Like I'm just a, a regular ass person who does regular ass shit every day. And if people like it. You know, I love it, so thank you so much. Oh, do an outro. All right, I'm J-Mo two times. Y'all want to see the goat? Pull your dick and your balls in between your legs and bend over. Look like a little goat tail. It's Wallace, bitch.